So Gazal, yeah. you've authored uh, this wonderful book with the Ogilvy Publishing, Making of Modern India. Could you tell our viewers and listeners uh, something, uh, you know, about this book? So what's so great and what's so, you know, innovative about this book? Vikesh, as I said, that my personality trait is that when I read something, or you know, I find out about it, I want to study it in wholesomeness. You know, what was sociology, kya tha, economics, kya tha, politics, kya tha. everything should be there right in front of me in form of a page maybe. This way, I can make mind maps. Bana so, when I was studying history, it was my optional. Uh, there was Ignu, there were these great authors like Romila Thapar Ma'am, uh, Shekhar Bandopadhyay, and uh, Sumit Sarkar, uh, Norman Loe. But jab, when I used to study this plethora, se, to I kept on making my own refined notes, uh, what do I say, deriving the interlinkages. So in history, I think that a book or a platform in which we can study in unison in the world history because that is also our syllabus in GS1 and the modern Indian history and freedom struggle was embedded in it. So I did not want to start my book with how the Britishers you know, invaded India or the Battle of Plassey for that matter. I wanted कि जो इसको पढ़े वो समझे कि there was a phenomena of imperialism and colonialism वो कैसे शुरू हुआ यूरोप में उस वक्त क्या हो रहा था ना very brief manner so that India उस उस समय में कहाँ placed था वो पहले समझ में आए and that is why जो last में मैंने maps जोड़े हैं और जो मैंने पूरा book का writing style रखा है वो ऐसे रखा है कि आपका world history और आपका modern Indian history and freedom struggle which are two different you go after two different book sets for them you find all the answers at one place तो आपको world wars पढ़ना है आपको French Revolution American Revolution imperialism colonialism जो world war का syllabus sorry जो world history का syllabus है actually that is right here in this book and in that scenario we embedded how our freedom struggle was in different strands in different movements whether it was CDM or Quit India that is an understanding in form of various chapters I have tried to explore and I think that is what makes the book special and that is what gives it a unique element that two different directions of books world history and modern Indian history is there right here in this, these pages along with certain mind maps which will help you explain that you won't forget another thing I'll say I don't remember the dates in history mein dates are important when did the CDM start for example so I made sure that when I read a decadal experience of world history mein padhungi, I will never forget it so you don't need to remember the dates in a time if you talk about some decade for example about civil disobedience movement and dandy march so if you understand that the phenomenon of that world history was the part of the world when the economic depression was going on when the rise of Nazi Germany was taking place and when you understand the economics and the link of it you will understand why would Gandhi ji in his 11 demands talk about that you change the rupee sterling ratio so you will not do anything you will not do anything you will understand it in wholesomeness and that is a linkage you have to remember the mind of the mind so you will not forget when you revise you will be able to suddenly jump from here to here to the world and back to India Wonderful. So I think you've you've done a great service to all the aspirants, Gazal, by uh, you know bringing uh, the world history along with modern India.